So at BRMI, we look at simplifying complexity through automation, and cloud is just another extension of that automated framework, right? So whether it's uh, providing process optimization through robotic process automation, or automating applications in the underlying infrastructure, it's all about the characteristics of cloud. And, and today, you know, we tend to talk about cloud as a physical destination, when really it's about the economics and the intelligent automation that underline those characteristics that drive cloud. Um, so we're seeing clients and customers start to look at how can I begin to extend my capabilities in this cloud market, whether it's at an infrastructure level, platform level, or software as a service level. And so we look at providing opportunities for clients around planning. Obviously, there's still planning that needs to take place, and we really focus on the economics behind the cloud, uh, driving the fiscal responsibility needed to, to be successful in that. Um, we help clients migrate to the cloud and obviously extend. And extend is where I think the exciting part of where the market is today. Um, being able to develop cloud native applications uh, through agile or DevSecOps uh, capabilities and disciplines. Um, being able to expose information that you didn't know you had, I think is also a, a, a compelling component of the extension side. And the impact that machine learning and AI will have on this marketplace is tremendous. So we're starting to see that automation is driving uh, intelligence inside of these environments to help drive success for clients. And it's happening both on the commercial and government side. I think a great example of kind of the extend capability, and it's not so much around the technology, it's around the culture and the ecosystem that has been created, is in the IC community and GovCloud. I think as you look at bringing 17 agencies together onto a common platform, if you will, but defining the policies, processes, and procedures by which you can collaborate to extend, build cloud native applications that deliver services to the mission, I think is a great example of the culture side of driving adoption of cloud. So technology is not always the long pole in the tent. It's really how do you create these environments that can extend the capabilities to deliver outcomes to the mission.